So yes, what you came here for. So thanks a lot.
favorite off my my EP that came out uh, a few years ago now but I was just reminiscing just so the audience knows I'm celebrating 20 years as a songwriter uh, as of last month and I'm very proud of that I think I'm gonna do a, like a live album later this year and I've always wanted to do that so we'll figure that out but this song um, out of all the songs that have been written in that time I feel like I gotta I gotta try to do more of this so this is a song called Lucky Penny Blues it's on my EP Nearly Broken which is I have some, I have the last like 13 copies in my backpack. If you want them, then we need to get some more, but we're down to, you know, the rest of it, so very good. So here we go.
because I saw some in my closet today and I thought if any house would want that, like the limited edition thing, I think it would be Shai's house. So, you know, case in point, I brought them. In case you want to hear what 18-year-old Rachel sounds like, the songs aren't that bad for an 18-year-old. <laughs> but this next song, I think this was my most recent single. It's a song called Save Myself and I wrote about it at um, one point I was going through a very anxiety-filled situation and I'm finally much better at managing it, but it takes a lot of work to manage it, as I'm sure everyone in this room can, uh, you know, copacetic with that. Um, but I was going through a time and I just remembered having a conversation with a friend at that point in time when they were like, you just feel like you've been, like, locked up, right? And, like, you just feel like you need to get out there and figure it out. And so that's what this song is about, is about, you know, the self-empowerment angle of that and having to, there's no shame in asking for help, I ask for help all the time now that I know that's okay. But sometimes you just got to save yourself a little bit so that you have the rest left over for everyone else. Oh, yeah. 
relationship, but I'm feeling good. So maybe I'd do like a couple more or something yeah, like that. Amazing. And if I feel so inclined, I may slightly extend, but we're doing good. Thank you. So thank you for caring about my health. Yay! <laughs> hey, Carmen, woo! This is so much fun. Isn't this a blast? Woo! This house is beautiful. I just feel honored to be in it. Thank and you for being here. The dope lights. I mean, don't you feel like you're at a rock club? It's very fun. It's very fun. Who so remembers a rock club? I mean, I go to them all the time. Oh, speaking of which, I do host the open mic at Union Stage once a month. I know it's in the wharf and it's far away from Virginia, but if you would like to join me, uh, the next one is May 20th. It's free on Monday night. If you need something to do, I'll be there. Um, yeah, I don't have any shows really coming up other than the open mic things that I do, but I do have something coming up in November. So if you want to be in touch, you know, just get in touch. We'll figure it out. I have some CDs and things like that, but we'll, we'll talk. Let's see. My grandpa always says I, I'd be foolish not to play the quote-unquote song that started it all, but that's only in his opinion. But <laughs> I love my grandpa. Um, but the song that kicked off my most recent EP, people seem to really connect with it. And it's funny, as a songwriter, you know, you grow as a person after you write a song. And sometimes you love these songs when you write them, and I still love them. But sometimes you just play them less and less because they become a little less relevant to what you want to be doing in the moment if you just want to be true to yourself and have moment be like, I'm not thinking about that right now, so I'm not going to play that song, you know what I mean? But this song, I think it's got a universal appeal. It's really just all about who here has made a bad decision and then did it again despite knowing better. Yeah? Okay. So this is a song about that. It's called Circles. I don't know if I can go this Take someone stronger now I've been running in circles Going nowhere fast and He's been living the word free in my head Never pretty sense of everything I had
I'll do dreaming and then I'll close it out. I'm going to get Mama. Get Mama. Mama. There's a cool song for you. So yes, my name is Rachel Levitin. I moved to D.C. for college, found work, and I'm still here 15 years later. So that's cool. If you want to talk about Chicago, I like Chicago. I am a Cubs fan. Go Cubs. Sorry, White Sox, but not sorry. Don't care about this. But this next song was written. Anyone here ever watched Glee when it was on TV? I'm not the only one, right? Glee fans in the house. I loved Glee. And this song was written after watching, I think it was season two or season three. It was an episode where they were all auditioning for West Side Story. And uh, the lead character, Rachel, which I liked because my name was also Rachel, so I saw myself in the lead character, Rachel. I was like, oh, okay. Um, they were, you know, auditioning to be Maria. They had a callback. They both had the same fames. Um, the song from Fame, Out Here On My Own. And I was like, oh, this is a really cool song. I love this song. And then afterwards, I went to my bathroom and I wrote this song. <laughs> so this is all just about dreaming about whatever you want. So this goes out to the Carmens. Yeah, Carmen. Woo! All right. Let's make sure this is in tune for you.
be getting more tuned out soon, I hope. But uh, yeah, I do have stuff on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, all your regular channels. But I do have, if you like hard copies, if you like CDs that don't turn into coasters, I still use CDs. I still use CDs. I still use CDs. I so I have some if you're interested for varying of these. Because I have EPs, but I also have some older albums that if you want to you wanna go way back in the way back machine, you can do that too. But this next song is based off a true story. I am a very clumsy person. I've been clumsy my entire life. Case in point, I walked in here with a brace on. Um, but this is based on a true story. The time I crashed my face into a 90 degree angle of a concrete step with my glasses on. So the doctors gave me some prescriptions that I was allowed to take to make myself feel a little bit better. And then, because I had time off of work and medicine, I watched American Horror Story for the first time. And I grabbed my guitar, I put the reverb on, and I wrote this song. And it's very matter of fact. And if you do laugh in the first two measures of the song, don't worry, I've heard people laugh before it's okay. But my question to you before I started is, what do you do when you fall down? Exactly. So I'm Rachel Levinson, thank you to the Cormans for having me out. Stick around, there's so much fun to do. And when I put my glasses back on, I'll actually be able to see all of your faces.
in a galaxy far, far away. Um, before I met my now wife, Lauren, we're celebrating six years of marriage this year. We're really excited about the six years, we're turning it up. Yeah, seriously. Um, and if I don't remember the words of the chords, yeah, it's because of these two beautiful children, Zadie here in the front and little Noah in Lauren's arms. But when I was practicing this, because I'm so rusty and I don't even know what this instrument is any longer, um, when I get to the last verse, it's still just it's exactly how I feel, even today, about them. About them. <clears throat> okay, this is called Only a Fool.
Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. 